Hey guys, it's Crosshairs. Today I've built a sequential combo lock. Now, this lock, you have to press the buttons in a certain sequence for it to open. My combination is 263467, or the first seven digits of the square root of 69,420. So, if I quickly put this combo in, the redstone lamp should turn on. This combo lock is also spam proof, so no matter how much I spam this lock, uh, it should never open. And also, this lock has automatic reset, so the moment I start my combination, it should reset. I could actually be partway through my combination, and I could start over, and it will still work. This combo lock's redstone is mostly underneath the ground. It works by decoding redstone signals from an analog keypad. It is also compact, staying within a 4x6 area, and it is infinitely expandable downwards. It also works on both Java and Bedrock. Now first of all, to build this thing, these are the materials you will need. At the top here, these are the materials needed to build the keypad in the first digit. Down here, these are the materials you will need for every extra digit you add to the lock. Now to start out, place where you want your keypad to be. You will need one block in front, one block to the left, two blocks to the right, and two blocks back for space. Now, next thing we need to figure out is how far you have to dig down. To do that, take the amount of digits you have and times that by two. Then add two. That's how many blocks you want to dig down. Alright, to start the build off, let's go down here. The keypad is directly above these blocks and facing in this direction. So we want to go back here to this corner and over here. Now we want to go and place another block here, and then another, and then another. Since I have four digits, I'll only place four. If you have like six digits, you keep going until there's six, and so on. Now you want to place blocks to the sides of these gaps, just like this. Alright, place it at the top, place a comparator facing this way, and then place a comparator facing this way, and you want them to alternate as they go down, just like that. Next, place redstone dust on top of these blocks. Skip these last two top ones. Alright, now we'll build a digit, so start off by placing three blocks here and here, and place two blocks here. Now place a furnace here with redstone dust on top. Place a comparator facing out of the furnace, and then a comparator facing out on subtract mode here. Place two redstone dust, then two repeaters. Right here, place a comparator on subtract, then place redstone dust right there. Next up, you want to place a block in front of this comparator, and then a redstone torch here, and on this furnace. Place a block here, and then place an observer facing down off this block, and then facing this way, with a block in front of it. Now place a block here, and a block up. Place a repeater facing out this way, and then a repeater on three ticks, and another on three ticks, just like that. Now place a comparator here on subtract mode, and a piece of redstone dust. Lastly, place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block. So that is one digit right there, and you have to re repeat this pattern all the way up, but uh, stop stop when you're at the last digit. I'll build it again. I'll show you again. So place three blocks here and here. Place two blocks here. Furnace. Redstone dust. Comparator. Comparator on subtract. Two redstone dust. Repeater, repeater. Comparator on subtract and redstone dust. Block in front. Torches. Lock, server facing down, server facing this way, lock, lock, repeater, repeater on three, repeater on three ticks, comparator on subtract, redstone dust, lock, and redstone dust. And you want to continue this pattern all the way up until the last digit, stop the last digit.
Alright, now I have three of my digits done. So the last digit is a little different here. So it starts off the same. Uh, three blocks here, three blocks here, two blocks here, and a furnace here. Do not place redstone dust on top of it. Now place a comparator going out and a comparator on subtract. Two redstone dust, two repeaters, a comparator on subtract, and redstone dust right there. Now place a block in front, but instead of placing a torch, we're going to place a block here and a block up like this. Place a repeater facing out, and then place a block up here with redstone dust. That should be the four digits done, and now we're going to start with the keypad. Alright, so to build the keypad, first of all, you want to place three redstone dust on top, and then place a block going out here and here, just like that. Place a comparator, and then redstone dust. Go down two blocks here, and place a comparator with redstone dust. And now you want to place redstone dust here, wrapping around just like that. Now place a block here, and a block down here just like that, and place a comparator facing this way. Go down the block, and go around like this, to a block right here. Now place redstone dust, a comparator, and place three redstone dust here, and a comparator going into there. Now, you want to place a block here with a comparator going out on subtract mode. Place a block, put a comparator going into there, and place a furnace right there. Go into the furnace and place in a non stackable item. Wooden shovels are the cheapest. Now, place a block in front of that comparator, and then redstone dust right there. And that should be your combination lock all done. Alright, now we're going to set the combination lock. So, to do that, head to the back here where these furnaces are. Now the combination is set by putting different amount of items in each furnace, and however many items are in a furnace depends on what number needs to be pressed. Now I want my combination to be the most secure combination of all. One, two, three, four. Now your combination will go from top to bottom, so you want to start up here. So my first digit is one, so I'll put one snowball in here. My second digit is 2, so it's a little wonky, but it's 4 snowballs. My third digit is 3, so I will put 7 snowballs. And my fourth digit is well, 4, so I will put 11 snowballs. Just like that. Now, again, I will put that chart up so you can set your combination to what you want. Alright, so if we go down here, this is where the output is. You can also take it from here. But... This is where the output is, and if you put in your combination... That will light up. Now, unfortunately, there are some limitations to this combo lock, and that limitation is the last two digits cannot repeat, otherwise it just skips the last digit, so don't do that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you later.